something drastically has to be done. I don't want to go to another funeral because of another child. Chapman Highway has a deadly reputation and for good reason. Since 2005, THP says 76 people have died in the 22 mile stretch of Chapman between Knoxville and Sevierville. And tonight, 10 News reporter Mark Salinger shows us the number of fatal crashes exceeds roads with a similar reputation. The city of Knoxville says Chapman Highway is no more dangerous than other roads. The Tennessee Department of Transportation says there are too many cars on the road for it to be as safe as it can be. Families who have lost loved ones on the road know the cost. I don't think that they're realizing the impact of what everybody has lost on Chapman Highway. It's been nearly seven years since Nancy Kalashevsky's daughter, Courtney, died on Chapman Highway. 911, where's your emergency? Please, there's been an awful wreck on Chapman, Chapman Chapman Highway. A car crashed into the church van she was in. Two people died. In your opinion, has enough been done to fix safety on Chapman Highway? Absolutely not. It's worse. 35 more people have died in wrecks on Chapman Highway in the years since the crash that killed Courtney. Makeshift memorials dot the highway every couple of miles. You count the crosses, there's a, the one right there on the side of the road over there. Firefighters from the Seymour Volunteer Fire Department were some of the first on scene as they worked to save Courtney. Chief John Linson Bidler took us on a drive along the roadway pointing out the hazards. There's drop-offs, there's, there's blank curves. The problem is not new for residents of communities along Chapman Highway. Since mid-March, seven people have been killed on a half-mile stretch of this road. In 1994, people marched along the road to protest the dangers. You know, I'm not the only one that's lost a family member to this road. But we want it to be the last. 76 people have died in a roughly 22-mile stretch of Chapman Highway from Knoxville to Sevierville. That's since 2005. We wanted to compare those numbers to another road in East Tennessee with a similar reputation. Alcoa Highway is sometimes referred to by those who drive it often as Alkilia Highway. 32 people have died on a 12-mile stretch in the same time period. That breaks down to roughly 2.7 deaths per mile on Alcoa Highway and roughly 3.5 deaths per mile on Chapman Highway. Chapman Highway has always been a challenging roadway. At last count, more than 30,000 cars travel Chapman Highway every day. More than 50,000 cars travel parts of Alcoa Highway. It's not a one single answer to, to fix it, uh, and, and, but, but something definitely needs to be done. Too many lives are being lost. The Knoxville Police Department would not speak with us about safety on Chapman Highway but former KPD Chief David Roush would. As you study law enforcement, there are three ways to address traffic, right? There's engineering, there's education, and there's enforcement. Roush says KPD sometimes increased patrols on Chapman while he was chief in an effort to impact safety. He says the only permanent solution are engineering fixes, which don't come cheap. Whatever it costs to fix it is gonna be much less than a, than a parent losing their child. I just want people to listen. A cross stands tall marking the spot where Courtney's life came to an end. A warning of what could happen for every driver who passes by. Something drastically has to be done. I don't wanna to go to another funeral because of another child. The Tennessee Department of Transportation has several projects underway that they believe will help improve safety on the road. However, they say not even a $45 million project planned for 2023 will be enough to make Chapman as safe as it can be with the amount of cars that travel the road every day.